yeah cool great so hello all good morning thank you for making it up for the session today i'm going to show you how to embed tableau visualizations into salesforce i'm suhit sundarmurthy uh, software engineer at msc solutions well uh, let's get into the topic tableau hope some of you are aware of tableau for people wondering what tableau is let me give you a quick intro Tableau is an analytical tool that can be used to build dashboards and worksheets which empower anyone to see and understand data. It helps you get insights, trends and patterns that exist in your data. Therefore, organizations use it as a business intelligence tool to drive their business forward. Uh, now, let me give you a couple of visualizations uh, built out of Tableau to get a clear picture. So the first bit shows that you can use Tableau to track how a particular stock performs. Here it is Apple. So you can get all the details of the track uh, of the stock that is performing over the course of time. And uh, from the second uh, visualization, you can see that it is used to track the spread of COVID-19. Uh, you can uh, have different components of the dashboard in a same uh, story, uh, which gives you better understanding of the data. So I believe now you guys know what Tableau is capable of. Moving on, Tableau and Salesforce. Let's find what benefits this combination brings. A Tableau integrated framework within Salesforce provides the data visualization features of Tableau within the Salesforce instance. Uh, the visualizations can be understood even by non-technical professionals. So this brings data analysis and visualizations to better understand Salesforce CRM data. And accelerating the integration of analytic driven insights into core business process enables customer facing Salesforce users to find everything that they need within the Salesforce instance. This shifts beyond the CRM capabilities to offer analytic-driven recommendations. Then uh, with this integration, Salesforce will uh, play even a greater role in driving digital transformation, enabling companies across the globe to tap into customers' data across their entire business and surface deeper insights to make smarter decisions in their businesses. And uh, uh, Tabby integration with Salesforce puts Salesforce-rich uh, customer data to work by providing analytics for everyone in your organization. And the visualizations can be made available in different areas of the Salesforce app. Uh, this delivers a seamless user experience and it increases the productivity. Now, uh, Fabulous has several products with specific use cases. For today's demo, I'm gonna use Fabulous online. If you guys wanna try the things that I'm about to show you today, uh, it's mandatory to have a Tableau online account. You can uh, get it by enrolling yourself in uh, Tableau Developer Program. So this is the dashboard that I'm going to uh, use to embed into our Salesforce or here over here. Uh, from this dashboard, you can see that the opportunities are categorized into three different uh, statuses, and uh, these two uh, areas hold the uh, accounts of those opportunities and the owners. And the data for this uh, dashboard is fetched from the Salesforce org that I showed you here. So from this org, we are just uh, getting all those data. Well, with all these set, we are ready to embed the bits, and this can be done in three different ways. Using web tabs, visual post page, lighting web component. First, I'm gonna do that with web tab. In order to uh, get your visualizations into a different system like Salesforce, Tabby provides two options. One is, if you hit on this share, you'll get uh, the link. So this is the first option. And uh, uh, the second one is the embed code. For this use case that I'm gonna show you today, I'll use the link. But uh, the co embed code are mostly used for uh, embedding the visualizations into uh, different web pages. So let's go. The using web tab is the easiest way.
so you you go to tabs and then you create your web tab i've already created the web tab now but let me show you the configurations that i done so pick your uh, page layout whichever suits your visualization and then provide the necessary details over here and say if you see that you can uh, adjust the height of the frame uh, depending on your uh, visualization this enables you to customize your look and feel of the dashboard and then this is where you paste the url before uh, moving on i've got something to say so here is the url and if you observe keenly into this you can see some parameters being passed so tab view allows you to pass parameters to this url uh, so that you can uh, you can uh, filter out your dashboard and you can customize it through the url uh, and it is mandatory to pass this parameter called embed with a value s yes because this makes your dashboard embed inside an another frame if you ignore to do, do so then the frame will restrict your dashboard within it now that's it everything is set uh, let me show you a preview of the web tab So yeah, we got a visualization inside our Salesforce environment. Uh, let me show you in the app that I developed. So this is the web tab I placed in, in this app. So yeah, we got our visualization, and you also get all the features of uh, of the tab view inside uh, this frame. And uh, that's it about the web tab. You can go for this type of uh, embed solution when hosting a uh, generic visualization which are company wide and do not require any contextual uh, visualization. So that's it with that. Moving on. Now I'm going to use VF page to embed the this. This method requires some knowledge in VF page. So let me show you the Visual Force page that I've already developed. So here you can see that to embed the visualization, I used Apex iframe tag and provided the URL to the source attribute. Uh, that's it. If you if you are done with this, then your visualization is available in your Visual Force page component. And uh, you know what? I, I told you about the parameters with which you can uh, filter down your dashboards, right? So now I'm going to filter this dashboard uh to show only the data of the particular account in which the visual force component is to be paced to do that you can pass the id of the account from the controller and uh, pass it to tab view before that it is mandatory that your field is available from this list so when you are developing your tabu dash uh, tabu uh, work workbook, you should uh, import that particular field before uh, uh, using it to filter it down. Now let me save this, and I've already uh, pasted this in the account page. I'll show you that. So this is the uh, tabu with vf. Uh, this is the vf component that I built. And see, the dashboard is filtered down to this particular account. So that's it with uh, Visual Force page. You can go for this solution uh, to get a more dynamic view of your dashboard. And then it enables you to easily drag and drop the Visual Force component, right? So that is another advantage with Visual Force page. Next is 
LWC component. This demo is about a beta component that Salesforce is currently developing. It is available in the GitHub. I will show you the link. Uh, you can go and check it out over there if you want to try it. The component uh, lets you quickly and easily integrate Tableau visualizations along with some interesting features. Now, I've already installed the package in my Salesforce org. Excuse me. Now, let me show you, uh, show you the component in the home page of that office app. So you go to edit, uh, edit your page and you can find a component from the component pane and you just drop it over here. So this component by default comes with a public uh, visualization, which you can uh, get it off and paste our visualization over here. So that's it. We got our uh, visualization inside this component. Now, the advantage of this component is that you can uh, adjust a look and feel from this property pane itself. You don't have to go and edit the URL each and every time. Uh, see, you can uh, observe the tabs over here and the toolbar over here, right? You can get rid of it just by check checking these boxes. And you can also adjust the height. Uh, as we did with the previous uh, two methods. So this is one advantage. Let me save and show you it in the home page. So that's it. We got our uh, dashboard in our home page through the LWC. And uh, next, now let me show you the feature of context filtering, where your component is intelligently dynamic uh, based on the page. I place the same component in the user record page. And if you observe this comp, uh, of this, this da dashboard, you can see that uh, the dashboard only shows the data that I own. So these are the accounts that I own, but excuse me. So let's see the home page. If you see the home page, you have uh, both the user's data, but from this user, page, you'll be only seeing the data that I own. And I also drop the same component in the account page over here. See, but here you see that the component shows only the data of this particular account. So this is called as contact filtering. And to enable this, all you have to do is uh, go to the components properties so this is where i paste the component and you see here you have a checkbox which says that filter visualizations based on the page so this is the feature uh, that brings all that uh, capabilities now if i click on this we'll be seeing only that accounts data. So this is context filtering. And uh, another feature uh, that this component brings in is you can uh, filter the dashboard based on your needs and requirements. And this is called as advanced filtering. So to do that, provide the field label of the record over here. So I'm now I'm going to filter this dashboard based on the industry. So that I'm going to give industry. Before that, let me show you the same field that is available here. So if it is not available here and you are entering the field over there, it won't work. And here, this is the Salesforce field. Pick it from the list. And that's it. So let me save and show you it over there.
now you can see all the accounts that are from the apparel industry so this is advanced filtering so that's it with the lwc and to do all this stuff the component uses tabus javascript api behind the scene so you can go for the solution if you want a quick and easy integration and uh, all those feature of custom uh, lookup uh, look and customizing your look and feel and uh, the context filtering and the advanced filtering so you can go for the solution if you need all these features so when i was exploring all these uh, there was one question uh, bugging me what difference that the tableau make with anything analytics and i discussed something and i want to share you with share it with you there is a significant overlap between the functionality of these two tools and there are also gaps in both that are filled by the other uh, while looking for the differences tableau plays a better role in on premise analytics but it is currently doing a great job in cloud also it also allows easy connectivity to the on premise data without uh, requiring any complex uh, integration and uh, tableau has the ability to directly query the data in real time and uh, if you see the same with the ancient analytics uh, you could find an ancient analytics being seamless in your uh, salesforce or because it is built on top of salesforce environment and uh, it doesn't mean that tableau cannot be integrated it can be integrated but it needs some additional work to do that and uh, tableau lacks the salesforce action framework uh, that is available in ancient analytics so these are the things that uh, distinguishes one tool from the other and these are high level uh, differences uh, if you look into it there are more you can find and uh, so today we have seen what is tableau what is the integration with salesforce mean and uh, the different ways to embed tableau visualization and how it differentiates from ansible analytics so that's all i have had for today and now i am open for questions do you guys have any questions yeah it was nice uh, sohit to see how uh, tableau is integrated with the salesforce so earlier as it was mentioned like it was only available on premise but now uh, how salesforce has collaborated with it so I have a uh, quick question on this like since we are utilizing uh, one of the public uh, uh, site or url right so yeah. do we have any limits uh, using that because like always we have salesforce we have some kind of limits on uh, number of times we hit the url right so do we have uh, any url limitations there uh the the, the big, uh, yeah thanks for the question uh dj so here we are using the url uh, just through the uh, only using lwc it has some limits but with the other two uh, uh, ways we don't have any uh, limitations dj as okay. far as my knowledge okay so in case like i missed it like uh, do we need to have remote site settings as well because like uh, no. uh, we are access okay no no dj okay. that is not required Yeah, thanks, Shuvit. Yeah, thanks. it was thank nice. Yeah, thank you, Vijay. Anybody else? 